Uh, it's good to be with you today. I'm, I'm very happy uh, to take part in this uh, Abu Dhabi Sustainability Forum, uh, which is uh, a crucial time at the beginning of the year uh, to think about what has happened and what we should do. Uh, we are still suffering from the uh, uh, health situation. It's not over yet. In Europe, we face a new wave of contagion. I, I hope it will not be for too long. Uh, vaccination helps a lot. It's a very strong barrier uh, to, uh, for the disease. Uh, and, the, and the economy uh, has adapted. Uh, we know better what to do, how to organize the business we have. And there is a rebound in the economy, quite strong. And uh, we, we are positive. About, about the future. Growth is, is back, even if we need to be highly focused on what to do about the health situation. But today is about the key challenge we have uh, for the planet, which is sustainability. It's a key agenda. Uh, it has been established years ago. All of us, we share it. It has been established and, and, and proven by scientists uh, we, we, know, we know that we need to act. We know that we need to deliver. It's no longer a time for thinking about what to do. It's a time for delivering. 2021 is a crucial year. Uh, this is uh, the year after the uh, uh, Paris Agreement, uh, during which commitments were taken uh, to, to reach in 2050 uh, uh, net zero carbon emission. And, and at the top of the commitments, I would like to mention uh, the commitment taken by the UAE. This is a crucial one. Uh, this is uh, uh, the first in the Middle East region. It has opened the way, uh, be clear, uh, established clear policies and goals. And this is very important. And quickly, it has been taken by many other countries, corporate sector, entities, financial institutions. So from this commitment taken by the UAE, we see a major development in the policy making sphere for net zero in 2050. That's key. In BNP Paribas, we have taken the same commitment. As many other banks, we are not, of course, alone. But we have taken it. It is based on 10 years' experience we have on sustainability. This is not a new agenda for us, but a commitment has renewed uh, the willingness we have. And today, uh, we, we work a lot, not only on the commitment, of course, but on what to do, how to do it, how to deliver. So 2021 was a crucial year. Uh, once I've said this, the beyond the speech, uh, beyond the commitment, we need to know to see how to do it. And from a, a bank perspective, how do we do it? It's clear. We need to have policies for us. We need to understand what we want to do and what we don't want to do. We don't want to finance coal, for instance. We don't want to finance shale gas. And we want to promote initiatives which can save energy, which can reduce emissions, and which can uh, address the challenges. How do we do it? It's client by client. Uh, the work of banks is to be delivered case by case. And this is the job we have. We, we are not only in the process of defining what we want to do and what we don't want to do. We are in the process of transition. We are in the perspective of helping clients to move from their current situation, which by definition is not exactly the one they wish to have to meet the goal for 2050, and to help them financing their investment, their technologies, their change in the business model to reach the target. So it is by engaging. This is what we have done in, in Abu Dhabi uh, for, for quite long. Uh, we have opened 
a new center uh, in Abu Dhabi in 2018, and we are very uh, positive about this. And from the starting point, sustainability has been high on the agenda, and we have been able to grow uh, skills, uh, contacts, initiatives, products from, from this. This is key for us. This is the bottom of, of what we do. And then we have engaged with clients. Uh, we have been part of many initiatives in Masdar, in uh, growing renewable platforms, which are very unique in the region, and we are very proud of this. And we have grown both uh, advisory services and financing uh, support. And that we need to continue to do it. How to do this now? It's by engaging with the clients we have one by one by working with them, helping them uh, defining their transition uh, journey and uh, uh, helping them uh, to test the impact to make sure that the goals are met one by one over time in, in order to reach as smoothly as possible what they want to deliver in 2050. So in a nutshell, uh, what does it mean? First, we, we do it in Abu Dhabi, and uh, definitively Abu Dhabi has taken the lead, and we support this a lot, and we are very happy to do it. And we do it elsewhere in the world, so we can mix the experiences, the successes, the difficulties to have a better understanding of what to do. Uh, the whole policy we put in place are based mainly on two, uh, two elements. First, we need to be close to the client. We need to work with the client. The job is done by the client. We support it. That's key. And we pay a lot of attention to net zero. And within the net zero, the goal is the zero. The, the net is a question, but the goal is the zero, which is as low as possible and client by client, if possible, zero. Uh, there are priorities. Uh, there are some sectors which are highly uh, uh, affected uh, by, by uh, the commitment taken. Of course, there is the energy sector, uh, there is the industrial sector, the whole sector about mobility, cars, shipping, and hopefully, quickly, you know, aviation uh, may come. And uh, housing is a very important sector too. Uh, it's about heating but it's about cooling, you know, and uh, energy consumption very high. So we need one by one to work. And this is the second principle, which is technology-based. Uh, the change will not come out of the blue. It comes by implementing existing technologies or investing in new technologies. I, I may give one example, which is probably for the future, uh, key for the future, which is hydrogen. So all the, the steps we take is working with companies on the technology they use, uh, well adapted to the challenge they have to their industry. And it's a combination of uh, commitment and innovation. Last point I would like to make, we need to be mindful that nobody should be left aside that the whole process has to be as inclusive as possible to make sure that it is well accepted by the people, uh, by the companies, uh, and by, by the countries. So we, we need to keep an eye, a very strong eye, on inclusiveness and social dimension of all these challenges. The future is going to be very important in the region. Uh, you know, COP, the next COP will be uh, in Egypt. The following one will be in the UEA. So the region will be at the core in the near future of uh, assessing progress, defining tools, and beginning to measure deliveries and success. I, I wish you a good conference today.